All right, y'all. Today we got a video from Rebound. How Stiff Curry spends his millions. Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to Rebound. Let's go ahead and get into it. Seven-figure vacation homes, an entire golf course, and the most expensive shoes in NBA history. This is how Steph Curry spends his millions. Oh, oh. And we gotta start with Steph's ultimate flex. Cause in 2019, Go. he bought a mega mansion built with a custom poolside cabana, Dang. his own guest house. It even has a custom virtual golf course with 60 bands and a place like this. How do those work? Pockets. I don't. I ain't, I ain't even trying to pause the video this early, but how, how do those work? Cause like, okay, you heat, you heat it to the TV, but like. I don't know, cause how like how, how does it know how far to go? Maybe I'm Bands, maybe I'm just overthinking. And a place like this, I might just be overthinking. Bands Steph's pockets, cause it's oh, located in Atherton, California, the most expensive neighborhood in America. So it cost him thirty-one million dollars. Man, Steph got the home of his dreams, but eventually it became a nightmare, cause a few months later the Warriors moved to a new arena that was 40 miles away from Steph's new house. God. And no matter how oh. fast he drove, it didn't matter. He kept being late to practice. So even though he already dropped 31 million on his dream home, Steph was forced to buy another crib. And this time, he copped something elegant. A luxury penthouse suite just a couple of miles from the new arena, worth eight million dollars. Eight mil just to get to practice. Now, this man Steph is stunting on everyone, and that's exactly why he dropped six figures on his dream car, a brand new Porsche Panamera Turbo S. Mm. And this thing whips. It's got 620 horsepower, a top speed of 196 miles per hour, and can go zero to 60 in just 2.9 seconds, making it worth over 180,000. Yeah, Steph had a need for speed, but in 2018, uh, everything I see what he changed, did though. Cause this car almost got him killed. Warriors star Stephen Curry was just involved in a oh, three-car crash. The crash happened just before this. 9 a.m. on westbound Highway 24 on the Oakland side of the Caldecott Tunnel. Yeah, Steph got hit bad. And while he left the scene without a single injury, his Porsche wasn't as lucky because it got totaled. That's 180 grand down the drain. But hey, that's nothing to a baller like Steph. Like, this dude is sure spending so hard, millions okay. of dollars just hanging out with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, oh, see, in 2022, Steph and Snoop hit the Boys and Girls Club of Long Beach, California. And together, they set the court ablaze, giving the gym a complete makeover. Brand new basketball LBC. Moves, custom comic book theme walls. They even had the kids paint a couple of murals. By the end of it, Steph's bill was as high as Snoop, because this project cost him over a hundred grand. But he's not stopping there, because over the next three years, Steph and Snoop pledged to rebuild 20 more gyms, all for the kids of California. Man, this dude Steph stays giving back. He's like the NBA Santa Claus. Wait a second. He literally is. Because he spends millions of dollars a year it buying Christmas it. presents. He got that perfect yeah. word to play the switch. Steph was feeling jolly. So he put the entire city of Oakland on the nice list by launching Christmas with the Curries. For us, this time of year is all about giving back to the community that welcomed us with open arms and continues to give us so much love and support each day. We know that it's been a challenging year for so many families, which is why we decided that 12 days of Christmas was better than one. Yeah, Steph was giving out food, donating books, funding schools. This man was stuffing all the stockings. So by the end of Christmas, he donated over five million to the people of Oakland. Yeah, mm. this man Steph took ho 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 to a whole new level. But look, man. Don't they let him fool play. you, because even though Steph's a nice guy, if you make him angry, he'll snap. And that's exactly what happened in 2016, when during a game against the Clippers, Steph got called for a foul and was so pissed that he threw his mouth guard. That mouth so guard. Game, what, they, what, 2016? 2016, 2017? Boy, that mouth guard was making him pay hefty Just pounds. a few months later, Steph's mouth guard struck again. 
As Tristan Thompson able to get that deflected rebound. And a foul on Curry. And Curry is going to get it with a technical. He throws his mouth. I remember that, boy. After fouling out of the game. And it hit a fan, Mike. Yeah. Steph just chucked his mouth guard. Hey, everybody, everybody in the NBA scene, you know, when Curry, when Curry loses his temper, you know something, you know something had to be up. Curry don't lose his temper like that, bro. When Steph Curry loses his temper, bro, you already know something was up. He chucked that bit, boy. But this time, it hit a fan. So later that night, the NBA hit Steph even harder, finding him 25000 that ain't really nothing though, I'm gonna be honest. Of course he don't wanna get fined twenty five thousand, but I mean to NBA people, twenty five thousand is twenty dollars, basically. After getting busted in twice, you'd think Steph would have learned his lesson, but no. Cause the very next season, he did it again. I remember and this that too. time. Steph got hit with his biggest fine yet. Fifty grand. Which means in total he forked over seventy seven thousand dollars. All because of his mouth guard. But look, this wasn't the only time Steph cost himself a bag, because he's lost even more money on crypto. See, in 2021, Steph saw some other celebrities buying NFTs and getting rich. So he said, screw it, I'll buy one too. And he copped his very own Bored Ape NFT for 180 grand. But he didn't stop there. Over the much. next year, he went on a shopping spree, buying some questionable NFTs. We got this weird pet thing, a cat girl on a phone, and this last one. Well, let's just say there's two big reasons Steph bought it. Uh, but anyways, by the end of it, Steph had built an NFT wallet worth over $300,000, thinking he'd taken his bank account to the moon. But in 2022, everything came crashing down. Crypto obviously right now getting crushed. Tonight, a massive sell off I'm of so cryptocurrency, so erasing get, more than $200 billion dollars from the entire market. Crypto just straight up crashed, making the value of Steph's NFTs plummet. So, as of this recording, if you add up his entire wallet, Steph has already lost over half of his investment. That's $150,000. Damn, the crypto game is ruthless. But not everything ends badly for Steph because he spent millions of dollars making esports history. Yeah, it turns out Steph's a gamer and he's been playing Madden, Call of Duty, and 2K for years. But in 2018, he wanted to put his money where his mouth was. So he teamed up with Andre Iguodala and a few other investors to pull together $37 million and invest it all into TSM, one of the top esports teams in the world. And with all that money, <clears throat> TSM was able to build the largest, most expensive gaming facility in all of North America, the TSM Performance Center. And this place has it all. A content studio, streaming rooms, a fitness God, center, dog. even has something called a dream pod. And when you add up... Well, you're a... God, Lee. Everybody got a double... Oh, no. Nah, well... It seems like it. most. It seems like you. Get, well, that's the slope. Got some empty spots right here. Hey, hey, hey! Y'all looking for somebody? To, hey, yeah, I can take one of them spots right there. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I ain't, I ain't no pro gamer, but you know, I can, I can make some content for you. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna lose a lot of tournaments, but you know, I mean, hey, the content is content. TSM, hey. Hit your boy up. Hey, we go. Hey. Everything. All I'm saying, this man. entire facility hey, cost hey. over. Hey, yeah, yeah, I got a couple spots. Hey, I see, I see y'all looking for some more spots. Now, come on now. Hey, get. You gotta, you gotta take a risk, man. Hey, you, you might be saying low risk, but hey, in the end, it could be a high reward. I'm just saying. I'm just 13 saying. Thirteen million, man. When stuff blows up, don't let that bag, thirteen million go to waste, man. Hard. I mean, the hey. dude even used one of his greatest achievements as an opportunity to flex. See, in December of 2021, Steph made history. Again, here's Curry for the record. It's good! There it is! Stephen Curry! The all-time three-point king in the NBA! And to celebrate, he wanted to spend big on his teammates. So he copped Draymond Clay and Iggy brand new Rolex watches for mm. 38,000 each. Man, I wish Steph loved me like that. But you know what Steph really loves? Shoes. 
and that's why he's dropped millions customizing them. Yeah, see, over the years, Steph's been doing something really special, selling custom sneakers for all of his charities, like Curry 3s for fire victims, Curry 9s for cancer research. Now, this man's got a signature shoe for every cause, but there's one pair that's untouchable, literally. Because in 2021, Steph launched his very own pair of charity NFT shoes called the Curry Genesis Flows. And with over 2,900 of these NFTs selling for $333 each, Steph raised over a million dollars for his charity, the Eat, Learn, Play Foundation, bringing the total amount his shoes have raised to a ridiculous $1.2 million. Mm. Now that is a big money move. But Steph has made even bigger investments because he spent millions of dollars making sports history. And I'm not talking about basketball. Oh. See, there's another sport Steph loves, golf. In fact, he's been golfing since he was a kid and was even the number one ranked golfer at his high school. But in 2019, he took his love for the game to new heights. Because during a visit to a local college, Steph met some students who love golf but couldn't play because it was too expensive. So Steph used some of his NBA money to make a difference, pledging over a million dollars, sponsoring his very own college team, the Howard University Bisons. Man, a million on a golf team, 10 million to charity, 30 million on a house. This dude Steph is not afraid to blow a bag. But it's only because he not started investing a in a media empire that's going to turn him into a billionaire. Yeah, and it all started in 2018 when Steph decided to take Hollywood by storm, launching his very own production company called Unanimous Media. And his very first move was investing $14 million producing his debut film called Breakthrough. And this movie was a massive success because it ended up winning Inspirational Film of the Year and raked in over $36 million in profit. But this was only the beginning for Steph because over the next couple of years, Unanimous Media started working on tons of projects. Steph Curry documentaries, celebrity game shows. Hell, uh, they even got signed to create an animated show called Good Times. But in 2021, Unanimous Media secured its craziest deal yet, a multi-year talent deal with NBC worth up to a hundred million dollars. This partnership about this. is game-changing because it means Steph's going to be collaborating with the most legendary studios of all time. DreamWorks Animations, mm. NBC Sports, and Universal Studios. Mm. You're so making a mean bet. It's only a matter of time before Steph turns unanimous media into a billion dollar enterprise. But look, dog, despite everything Steph has bought, there's one final thing that he spent the most on, and it ain't even close. See, over the course of his entire career, from his NBA contracts alone, Steph has made over $250 million. Yeah, a quarter of a billion. But that's not counting one giant expense that's sucking Steph dry. Taxes. Yeah, because not only is Steph in the highest federal tax bracket, but he also lives in a state that taxes rich people the most. California. So if you add up all the taxes he's paid over the years, Steph has paid Uncle Sam up to $142 million. God damn! Steph could have literally bought a thousand Lambos for that. Jesus! And look, we've learned a lot about Steph, but there's still a whole new side to him that you've never seen before. I mean, I bet you had no clue that Steph is going blind. Or that one time, he almost got canceled. Look, if you want to hear more, then you need to click this video right here. These are 20 things you didn't know about Steph Kurt. And trust me, these stories are crazy. So what are you doing? This video's over. Click it. Click it. And man, rebound, man. He always get me, man. He always get me. And hey, man, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to Rebound, man. And if you like this video, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe.